Welcome back. So now we are going to talk about implementing those keywords that we came up with. Okay, so at the end of the keyword research process, you realize that you're going to come up with some keywords that you're actually going to use on your web page or post. Remember, I told you that you do SEO not at the website level, but every page and post level. So it's, it's important that you target these keywords appropriately and you will be able to reap the benefits. Okay, so now where and how do we implement these keywords, right? You, you come up with your keywords, it's a matter of using that in your content, but where exactly in your content? That's the question uh, I'm going to answer now, okay? So with an on-page SEO, while keyword research acts as a foundation, think of it like step zero, Step one would be to use that keyword in the title. What's a title? Title is something that appears at the top of your browser window. Okay, so the, the title appears in three different places. One of them is right at the top of the browser. Number two is when you're doing a Google search, for example, what you see as a clickable link is a title. And the third place where you can see the title is by going to the back end just just go to any website right click go to view page source and you're going to see the title tag title is the first step in your on page seo okay so step zero is going to be keyword research that's foundation okay so your step one is going to be title let's talk about that okay on the screen i'm actually going to show you how the title appears where it appears and how we are going to manipulate that but more importantly, think of this situation, okay? Imagine this. Think of Google as literally like a spider that's crawling into your website. Just like you and I read text on a page. We start from the top left corner, go towards the right, all the way to the right bottom, right? That's how we begin, from the top left to the right bottom. A Google crawler does exactly the same thing. It actually looks at your web page as a page in a notebook or a textbook right it starts from the top left hand corner and goes all the way to the right bottom so let's look at what comes right at the top on the on the corner of the left side so let me quickly switch to our computer and i'm going to show you how the crawler actually reads the content and uh, like i told you the functions of a search engine it first crawls your page reads it takes a snapshot takes it to its index and saves a copy okay so i'm going to do that right now let's watch how we do this okay so first of all title right we are going to look at the title okay here we go new window let's start this um let's do a search for french language classes because that's the example we took so we'll continue with that so that you get an idea of what i'm talking about french language classes in san antonio if you scroll down, we are going to look at the organic results. This, you notice, is a clickable link. This, French courses, UNAM, San Antonio, language school. You see, this is a title, okay? So this title appears in three places. Let me quickly open a notepad for you so that I can make a list and you'll be able to better understand. One, I'm gonna just font let me quickly increase the font size so that it's like visible for you there we go number one um, so where does the title appear let's look at that the title appears in three different places number one okay here we go it, it appears on the search engine okay on the search engine results page okay the clickable link is your title okay B when I open this in a new tab you see the website or the web page opens up right here you slowly move your mouse over this okay so I'm, I'm just gonna hover over to the top of the browser right here you see that it says French courses UNAM 
San Antonio language school, the exact same thing that you see right here. That means that's the title. So the title also appears on the top of the browser. Number three, the third location, like I told you, go to any website, do a right click here. You're going to see an option that says view page source and there is a shortcut, a keyboard shortcut you can use, control plus U. When you do that, you're going to get into this. Let me zoom in so that you can see it properly. Now I'm going to do a control F or command F if you're using uh, Mac. Uh, do a search for title and there we go. Okay, they haven't used it, so obviously they're not doing it right. Let's look at uh, this one right here. The page is loading. I'm going to right click and go to view page source. And if I do a control F and then type title, there we go, you see this learn French and then there is this weird ampers, ampersand symbol with the number. It's just that it's, think of it like an HTML code, but it just represents and, um, basically a dash I think, yeah. Learn French dash Alliance Francois San Antonio. You see right there, you're going to see that's, that's what you see right here in the title, okay? You see the same thing right here as well, okay? So those are the three places where you will see the title. The view page source page. Okay, so three places where the title will appear on your Google search engine results page. The clickable link is called the title. Once you click, go to the website on the top of the browser where you see what you see on top of the browser is, is the title. Last but not the least, you can right click on any web page, go to view page source, and that will take you to the back end and you're going to see uh, basically the title tag, which will have exactly what we are uh, putting as title. Okay, so why is this important? Like I told you, the Google crawler is going to come to your website and the first thing it's going to do is look at the top left hand corner. It's going to look at your title right at the outset. The first thing that it says is the title. So what do we do about it? It's very simple. All we need to do is begin your title with the keyword. Okay? So in the keyword research process, eventually you would have, you know, come down to one or two keywords that you really liked. Let's stick to one or two keywords initially because there will be a theme to a page. Okay, so when you do keyword research, uh, please refer to the previous section when we spoke about keyword research. You find out the keywords that are appropriate for your business, pick two keywords that are really important for your business, okay? So number one, I call the first keyword the primary keyword. The second keyword I call secondary keyword. Okay, so use the primary and a secondary keyword and you should be fine. So on a website, when you're creating the title, okay, always begin with the primary keyword. There we go, primary keyword. Okay, so how do we do this? So what we're going to do is um, we're going to use a plugin called Yoast SEO, okay? <clears throat> I have a WordPress website, so on my website I'm going to install a plugin called Yoast Plugin. Once I install the Yoast Plugin, I'd be able to use the title which is available right there and I'm going to optimize or use my keyword to optimize that blog post using Yoast SEO, the plugin. So let's quickly look at how it is done. So we can see here. I'm on the computer screen right now. I'm on one of the websites uh, where I've just installed or activated the plugin. I go into posts and create a new post. Okay, so let's assume that I'm writing a blog post about um, the French language classes in San Antonio. Okay, so this is how I would do it. 
By the way, what you put here isn't really a title. This is called the H1 tag, which I'll be covering in a little bit. For now, anyway, let me go ahead and type French language classes in San Antonio. All right. Now, as I scroll down, obviously, I'm going to put some content here. This is where the content will go. Now, because I don't have any content um, at, on hand right now, so what I'm going to do is go into um, lorem ipsum, which is like a, a space holder, really, placeholder. I'm going to copy this and paste it up here. OK, great. So this is heading to, heading to, all good. This is the text. OK, so there is something. You see, when I scroll down right here, let me zoom in a little bit again to show you um, this part. This is Yoast SEO. Once I install and activate it, you know, I'm going to see this. You're going to do the same thing. On your website, uh, if you have a WordPress website, um, you can just install the plugin called Yoast SEO. Just go in there, and um, once you type in the content of your blog post, scroll down a little bit, you're going to see this plugin right here. Enter your focus keyword, it says, right here. So there, I see something called focus keyword. I'm going to type uh, French language classes in San Antonio. That's it. So that's the keyword that is my focus area, right? Um, by the way, Yoast is an amazing uh, plugin for WordPress. It allows you to target keywords. Um, currently, with a, with a free account, you can only target one keyword. If you notice right here, there is another tab. I can add another keyword if I wanted to. Um, but for that, uh, I'll have to pay Yoast for the services. So you might want to choose what, what makes sense to you. Uh, initially, with just a free SEO, Yoast SEO, it's totally fine. You can go with this. OK, so I put in the focus keyword. And then if you notice right here, it says Edit Snippet. I'm going to click on this. And there we go. It says the title. I'm going to click here. And I'll just type the exact same thing. I'm going to start with the keyword. That's the, that's the condition, right? That's, what I, that's the best practice. French language classes in San Antonio. OK? And I then use a pipe symbol. If there is anything else I want to add to the title, I use a pipe symbol. OK, so I'm going to quickly switch to this notepad right now. If you see the notepad, I said the first condition to keep in mind is to begin your keyword, sorry, begin your title with the keyword, the primary keyword. Number two. You see, Google gives you a very limited amount of space right here. OK? I'm going to do the search again just to show you. You notice this. In the third case, it says French lesson San Antonio. Learn French in San Antonio and then listen. Then there is three dots. These three dots are called ellipses. So if your title um, goes beyond a certain limit of characters, you're going to see ellipses. Um, ideally, it's not the best practice. You'd want to keep your title to that uh, number of characters, the maximum number of characters that, uh, that you're allocated in the search engine. Uh, what that um, results in is basically 56 characters. Okay, So keep this in mind. When you create your own title, make sure it is within the 56 character limit. And the the good thing about Yoast SEO is that it's going to give you a color code right below the title. Right, right now it's it's like um, it's an it's a color of amber or orange. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some more text here. So French language classes in San Antonio. Learn uh, French face to face or something like that. I hope you get the point, right? Now, as I type that, you see the, the, the bar below the uh, text box turn green. OK, this part I'm referring to, which means your title has a good length. If you scroll down a little bit, um, Yoast SEO is so good that it's going to give you feedback. It says, the SEO title contains the focus keyword at the beginning. 
which is considered to improve rankings. Great. The SEO title has a nice length. That's exactly what I mean. Make sure it's 56 characters in length. That way it kind of turns green and more importantly, it gets a nice length for, uh, for showing up on the Google search engine results page. Okay. So that's step, that's uh, condition number two. <clears throat> Excuse me. So begin your title with the primary keyword. Make sure it is 56 characters in length or somewhere you know, between 50 to 56 characters. That will be good. Last but not the least, make sure um, you don't stuff keywords in there. You know, you don't want to say something like French language classes in San Antonio. Learn French language classes in San Antonio. You understand what I'm trying to say? If you use the same keyword multiple times, it is not readable. It is called keyword stuffing. And keyword stuffing is a part of Webmaster Guidelines. It's one of the quality guidelines to avoid things that you're not supposed to do. So do not stuff your title with multiple keywords, okay? So keep it readable. So that's condition number three. Make it readable. Do not, excuse me, do not stuff keywords, okay? Actually, there's one other point. Make sure this title that you're giving is unique to each page. Okay, you don't want Google to be um, competing for your own pages on your own website. It's not a good idea. So each page and each post on your website should have a unique title. Okay, so that's point number four. Use unique title for each page and post, okay? So do not repeat your page and post. So that's about the title part of on-page SEO. Hopefully you learned something, okay? So once you have your keyword, there are two keywords that you're going to result um, in the keyword research process. You're going to end with two good keywords. One is a primary keyword and the other one is a secondary keyword. Make sure you use the primary keyword in the title. Begin your title with the primary keyword. Number two, make sure it is 56 characters in length so that it doesn't exceed the amount of space that Google actually provides you in its search results. Number three, make sure it is readable. Do not stuff keywords into your title. And last but not the least, make sure each title is unique. That's about title, and of course, you know where it appears. It appears in three places. One, at the top of the browser. Two, on the Google search engine results page. And three, when you go to the back end using view page source. So those are the three places where you can see the title. I hope this is useful. Like I told you, get your keyword research done. Come up with the two keywords. Implement them on your title right away. Stay tuned because we are going to come up with the next section which is going to deal with meta description, another very important part of on-page SEO.